Hi you guys! Today I'm going to show you how to make your Facebook profile private. There are a variety of reasons as to why you would want to do this. Perhaps you want to make it private for security reasons or you don't want potential employers to see your profile among many other reasons. Today I'm going to show you how to do this on the Facebook mobile app as well as on your desktop computer. Let's jump right in! Okay, so up first I'm going to show you how to do this on the Facebook mobile app. So. First off, you're gonna click on menu in the bottom right corner. It'll bring you to your profile and then you're gonna click on the settings option in the top right. And then you're gonna click on privacy checkup. And here you're gonna be presented with five different options. The topic I wanna to start with is who can see what I share. It's gonna bring me to this page and it's gonna walk me through my profile information, posts and stories and blocking. So I'll hit continue and it's gonna bring me to all of my own personal information that's viewable on my Facebook profile. So on the right of my information, there is a down arrow that I can click and I can either click only me, friends, or public. For my very personal information, so phone number and email and address, I like to have it on only me. Things like my birthday, I like to have my friends on Facebook know, and things like education, I like to have on public because for future employers, that to me is something that I want them to see. So when you click next, it's gonna bring you to this page. So this is where you get to control who sees your future posts, who sees your stories, and then you can limit your past posts. And what that means is you can choose to limit who gets to see all of the posts you've already made. So when you click on the down arrow, if your future posts are set to public, you can change that. You can change it to friends or friends except, and you can choose which friends you don't want to be able to see your posts. At the bottom here, there's a more option. And when you click that, you can choose only specific friends to, to see your future posts or only yourself. When you click on the down arrow for stories, it's the same idea, public, friends, custom. So you can choose who sees your story. Um, and you can hide your story from certain people. And if you change any of this, you'll just click save in the top right corner. And if we click on limit past posts, you can limit all of your past posts on your timeline. Um, the only way to undo this, it tells you here, is to change the audience of each post one at a time. And once we're done here, you can click next. You can add to your blocked list. Um, so if there's somebody on Facebook that you don't want to see any of your posts, you want them to be completely blocked from your profile, you can add them to this list and you just click on it and you can type in the name of the person you wish to block and it's easy as that. And now we're all set. My bonus tip for you guys today is gonna to be how to mute your Facebook notifications. This is a really valuable one in my opinion. I often get really overwhelmed when I'm receiving a bunch of different notifications from different apps and so I like to go in and just mute notifications on different ones. So to do that on Facebook, on your Facebook mobile app, you're gonna click on menu. You're gonna click the settings in the top right corner. And then you're gonna scroll down to notifications and you can just mute push notifications. If you turn that on, you can choose for how long you want those notifications to be muted for up to eight hours. And then to turn that off, you'll just click on it again and click off. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to make your profile private on your desktop. So once you have the Facebook website open and you're logged in, you're going to click your icon in the top right corner. You're going to click on settings and privacy. And you're going to click on privacy checkup. Here you'll be presented with the same five options as before, and you're going to click on the same, the first one. And you'll click continue. Once again, you'll be presented with all of your personal information and on the right hand side, you can press down and you can modify whether you want it, your profile to be public, your friends to view it, only you, or you can customize that. Once you've pressed the one that applies to you, you'll press done and you'll press next. Once again, same idea for future posts, you can click on friends and you can edit whether you want that to be public friends, friends except for blank, and you can choose which of your friends you would not like to see your profile. You can click on specific friends you'd like to view your profile, only you, which will be locked and private, or you can customize that. Then you'll click done. Stories, same idea. You can click on public friends custom, or you can hide your story from specific people. 
Once you have the one selected you want, you'll click save and you can limit your past posts as well. Then you'll press next and you can add to your blocked list as well. You'll click the plus sign and you can type in the name of whoever you'd like to block. Next. And now you're all set. And then my bonus tip of the day on your desktop, I'll show you how to mute Facebook notifications. So you're going to click your icon in the top right. You're going to click on settings and privacy. You'll click on settings. On settings and privacy on the left hand side, you'll scroll down to notifications. And if you scroll down to the bottom of that, you can press on other notifications. You can turn off all notifications on Facebook so that you don't receive any. And to do that, you'll click on where it says allow notifications on Facebook and you'll just turn that right off. And now you'll no longer receive any notifications for Facebook. To turn that back on, you're just going to click it on and automatically these will all be turned back on for you. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching once again. I hope this was helpful. I hope you can use this information and pass it on to somebody else who needs it. And I will see you in the next video.